Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Valby the Three Tarot and with Spirit, and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on here with you today. All right, Taurus. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, and so of course it's not going to um, resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed Seven Seven Seven, and I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, hold on. I just saw some cards flipping over and I want them all facing down. But I don't see what cards are popping out here. Let me fix that real quick. Sorry, Taurus. I thought they were already fixed that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Shuffle them. Now. be with you because you guys are Taurus and you like food but I heard taco taco burrito burrito taco taco burrito burrito and I think it was a commercial a long time ago it's probably considered racist now but it was Taco Bell when they had the little chihuahua dog and it's taco taco burrito burrito taco taco burrito burrito and like they would do that and it was like this cute little like thing but I don't know why that popped up in my head maybe you're eating Taco Bell if that's the case girl sounds good to me I always get the nacho cheese. I get like three orders of the nacho cheese, little chips and cheese. It's like my favorite. And then uh, I get the, uh, I usually get like two crunchy tacos and I like the bean and cheese and rice burritos, like on the dollar menu. <laughs> and then the potato soft tacos, the potato and cheese soft tacos. <laughs> yeah. And then once in a while I'll get like the double decker. Okay. Anyway, the Doritos Locos tacos are actually okay. They're good too. Um... All right, and the Baja Blast Breeze, the drink. Oh my God, so good. Okay, enough, sorry. So Taurus, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so something's going on. You, either you're saying you're not gonna plan for anything because you don't care. You might be irritated, aggressive, or annoyed at someone or something here. You have no passion towards anything or anyone right now. And it's like, whatever makes sense. You're not budging, you're not moving, and it's okay. And then right after that, you're in this energy where it's like, yeah, and now I'm irritated and I'm impatient, but I'm too impatient to wait and plan. I don't want to wait, but am I missing out? And I don't want to deal with all this conflict. And I'm like, okay. And so you're like, I'm going to deal with all the fucking pain and not end what needs to end with whomever or whatever. But it looks like you're saying you're fulfilled, you're getting what you want, so whatever. You have clarity and awareness, you're moving quick, maybe messaging, whatever it is. It, something about that though is starting to make you feel like do you really have hope and faith in this anymore or do you not you're starting to kind of lose hope and faith in a situation about something or someone I don't know and then it causes you to do a few things here get really greedy about money business and finances use others or someone for financial dependent or be dependent on them or you're lazy and just don't give a shit to like work and build and create for your life um, or you just care too much about the opinions of others that like you, you care about how much value they put on you. So either or. Let's see more here. you're aware of a truth you could be speaking it or saying it to someone or something here so that's good and then after that it makes you kind of 
scramble and scatter in a sense here because then it makes you either like it's kind of like this like you don't want to work or build and build off of something create anything but you still hang on to everything but you're not doing anything about it now it looks like it's because it's about your marriage you can be in a marriage or relationship so it's your marriage or your relationship here maybe a family dynamic or it's something's going on with a marriage or relationship outside of you either or whatever or your own personal commitment but that's what's making you very unhappy and emotionally disconnected. You're just like, yeah, whatever. And then you're not even in your strength to get up and resolve these issues and face something. And then you get defensive and guarded and play the victim, but you're not, you know, taking care of what you got to take care of. And then I see here, I mean, if you are dealing with someone, it's very clear. You guys are matching each other. No one gives a shit about doing anything. But you end up going back to, once again, greed, money, wealth, laziness, status, value, you know, but you're not doing anything. But you're saying you, this is how you fight. You want to fight for this still. You, you, you know, there's something here you want to fight for, which is to not close out a cycle that's karmic and needs to be done with already. And you're not. So whatever that's about, I don't know. Because you're not done with something or someone even though you should be it makes you not want to plan or do anything about it either and then you're just kind of like okay let me just be independent and focus and on myself and go to work for a bit or be abundant there and that's good there and then right after that's back to what happened in the workplace what's going on that's things are getting fucking messy and weird either you literally are like okay i don't want to work anymore or have a job or you you may, you may want to quit you may not like your job you may hate it whatever okay um or you might be trying to force collaborations onto people so that you can keep getting more out of it or whatever, or like trying to take ideas from people in the workplace. There's something toxic going on. You're not wanting to really build and create. And, and I don't know what's going on here because this is where even you're realizing you're not having much love anymore in the situation. So that you're not really having much love for yourself or for something or someone that's going on. So I don't know if you are single, need to be single, okay or it's like you're not happy that you are i don't know it's like something's starting to mess with you and so you're starting to put your walls up a little bit and get guarded but you're still also not really putting those boundaries in place and then after that you're like yeah to hell with it you're like i'm not going to be equal giving sharing fuck it all i'm going to take 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 from people and i don't want to share and it's like okay you have your reasons Okay, well, it looks like here that you're not emotionally walking away from any of this and you're kind of like, yeah, and I've reflected on it. <laughs> All right, then. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.